Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at some more biblical archaeology today. So today we're going to be looking at this article of Second Temple Trash. Now, garbage seems like both garbage. You throw it away, it's disgusting, it's dirty. Actually, you can tell a lot by what people are throwing out. So if someone's, if someone's throwing out a lot of, let's say, oranges, you can tell that they were eating a lot of oranges, for example. Or a lot of, for, and if someone's throwing away a lot of fish bones, you can tell they're eating a lot of fish. Actually, we, in fact, that's one of the ways we know that in um, the time of Jeremiah, the people of Jerusalem were actually big fish eaters. Uh, they loved their fish. They had it carted in from the coast. It, because of all the fish bones from that time period. So this is some an article on the, what, the, what we learned from the garbage from after the time of Jesus in um, in a Jeru in the Roman Second Temple period Jerusalem for its destruction by the Romans. Let's take a look at the look at the what the article has to say. Excavations of Jerusalem's Second Temple drainage channel. I revealed fascinating details about the last decades of the flourishing city before its destruction by the Romans in 70 CE. By uncovering trash left behind by Jerusalem's first century residents, the Isra Israeli Israel Antiquities Authority have been able to fill in gaps in Jerusalem's material and culinary culture. You can tell what they ate. One person's trash is it another's treasure. The Second Temple Channel once passed through the city's bustling market at the foot of the Temple Mount. For making its way along the length of the City of David Ridge into the Channel Mouth, or swept the territories of, of life above Jerusalem's main streets, explains Excavation Director Alina Zibberstein. Where they remained preserved between the walls is just as they were at the moments of the city's destruction. These small finds, cast aside by their owners, now tell the story of Jerusalem. According to, to among the finds, complete ceramic lamps, glass vessels, food remains, coins, and beads. So there's some intact oil lamps from the drainage channel. That's what they look like. As the city's channels were cleaned regu regularly, the team can confidently date the accumula accumulated material the last few decades before Jerusalem's destruction to uppermost levels coming from the final days of the city. Yeah, so let's say, okay, if you're a parent and you're watching this, and you have this kid, and they haven't cleaned the room in months, and they just pile up, pile up, pile up, finally, finally they clean it. The thing you see at the top level is going to be what they just threw down on the floor like yesterday. And by the time you get to the floor, you're going to see stuff that they threw on the floor uh, like a few months ago. So because they regularly clean the cha channels, they know it's compared that what they find the channels was like just before the city was destroyed. And stuff on the bottom is like generally older. In these upper levels, they discovered complete lamps which were possibly used by people hiding in, from the Romans. Further down, they uncovered many whole vessels, including ceramic and glass vials, and a large variety of pots and dishes, revealing the near-complete tableware set of Jerusalem's residents. The channel assemblage is drawn from many houses and from different streets in town, said Zilberstein, thus presenting us with example, examples of almost all wares the city's merchants had to offer. Collection of finds from the Second Temple Drainage Channel. Yeah, so there's a... They seem kind of simple, if you ask me. Like, uh, I know that they would actually use a lot of stone for drinking vessels. Um, Jewish dietary law preferred stone, because, like, you could have clay, but if a bug fell in it, you had to smash it. So, uh, stone could be more easily ritually purified. So... In addition to these to standard, in addition to standard excavation, the IAA, Israel Antiquities Authority, sends all their excavated dirt for sifting, which has revealed a great deal of additional information regarding the diet of Second Temple Jerusalem. These smaller finds include grape seeds, grain kernels, fish bones, and even eggshells. So we can tell again, looking through some, if you look at someone's compost, 
you can tell based on what they're throwing out what they're eating. So if someone a lot of eggshells, a lot of eggs, a lot of great seeds, a lot of grapes. So they ate a lot of grains, fish, bones, and eggshells and eggs and grapes. So that's the article. So what do you think about the garbage uh, of Second Temple Jer Jerusalem? Uh, we we know what the apostles would have eaten on a daily basis, day in day out, in the holy city. Well, they were there. This is around the same time, but it's like when Peter was there. Um, so what do you think? Interesting to know what Peter would have eat, ate for the apostles would have eaten for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What their dish set would have looked like. Not exactly a big. Not exactly settling major theological disputes, but it is kind of interesting. Anyway, God bless everyone. Have a great day. If you ever get a chance, check out an SSPX chapel.